So hopefully you watched the first two videos of the first two phases of how your off-season training should look like with basketball. Now we're getting into phase three. Phase three, we're really getting specific, we're really getting close to the season, and we're really getting dialed in so that when we get the tip off of that first basketball game, you are just at your peak level of conditioning, you're at your peak performance. Um, now these movements that we're doing on the court are very twitchy, they're very fast twitch, they're very explosive, or at least they should be. Um, they're very nervous system demanding. And so this phase of training, we're really starting to incorporate your plyometric movements, your explosive movements. Our eccentrics might even get a little faster with some lifts. Uh, and if you're an experienced lifter, this is where the Olympic movements will come in. Now I say if you're an experienced lifter because there are many prerequisites if you were training with me that I would require of you before you start doing the Olympic lifting, the cleans, the clean and jerks, and all the different variations uh, that are associated with those movements. Um, the snatches, all of those types of things. Um, one main key that we have to have is structural balance. Now this goes back to testing. Are your VMOs weak? Are your hamstrings weak? And have we reached the balance or have we reached the optimal strength ratios that those muscles need to have at those joints? When you are in balance structurally, then you are less prone to injury uh, and your performance will be greatly enhanced. Your nervous system will be able to generate uh, more muscle fiber recruitment um, and it will improve the mobility, the structural integrity, and the power production at each joint. Okay, So we have to be in structural balance. Um, there are also a few other things that we're required. Um, we need to be able to go full range of motion back squats. We need to be able full range of motion front squats. Um, but during this phase, we are going to start incorporating some explosive movements um, if you are qualified. Uh, some of the first ones we might start with are clean pulls. Uh, pulling off the floor in a deadlift fashion, exploding up on your toes, getting to that triple extension uh, that very mimics the, uh, the vertical jump. It very much mimics the, the push off horizontally for the acceleration, for your first step, all of these types of things. Um, I do a lot of trap bar uh, quarter jumps, a lot of trap bar uh, deadlifts with a pause at the top third into jumps. Um, and then another thing we can start incorporating along those same lines is contrast training. Contrast training uh, typically has a strength movement immediately preceded, or immediately succeeded I should say, by a explosive movement. So even though we still have upper body, lower body splits, um, I might do a bench press with a barbell immediately followed uh, by an explosive push-up. We might do a deadlift immediately followed by a box jump. Uh, so these are some things that you can start incorporating into your program. Uh, like I said in the last video, uh, I've had some professional basketball players who are always focused on hypertrophy. Uh, at this phase and even into their season. They're doing eight reps, 10 reps, 12 reps. Again, when you're on the basketball court, it's the nervous system that we really need to optimize. When you go to plant and make a move, whether it's horizontally or vertically, you need to be able to recruit as much muscle fiber as possible. And that goes back to your nervous system and its ability to basically get the muscles online. And that's a huge reason that you need to be in the weight room and you need to train heavy and you need to train fast. That's what's gonna recruit those fast twitch muscle fibers. When we're talking nervous system, we need to be at the five rep range and below. That's why that basketball player that's talking about hypertrophy, eight, 10, 12 reps, while it's good, and if you're a younger lifter, we may not go into that five reps and below uh, uh, phase so much, but if you uh, have two years of experience or more lifting properly, um, we really need to get into those sets of five, those triples, those doubles, and those singles, followed by explosive jumps, depth jumps, and all your plyometric movements. That way, again, when you get to that tip off of the very first game of the season, your nervous system is so enhanced, your body is so online and in tune that you will be able to jump higher, you will be able to plant faster, you will be able to move quicker laterally. 
um, because you have demonstrated that you can move a lot of weight in the weight room, you can recruit those muscle fibers and you can move the weight fast. So I hope this video helps. Be sure to check out my in-season training and how I recommend you as a basketball player train while you are in the basketball season. And please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great content we're sharing here.